put it in your pocket, put it, put it in your pocket, put it, put it in your pocket. Alright. Let's finish what I was doing. I'm live streaming what? Can you hand me my clippers out of the bucket from the kitchen? Yeah, that's good. They're the ones with the knives. I know. Hello, all viewers. Thank you. None. Hi, viewers. Sorry for interrupting. Have fun. I don't have much cord, but it's vacuum. So now we, it's supposed to, uh, oh my God. there's supposed to be little locks on this vacuum to keep it Oof, from coming out. Why does it look like it's blue on camera? This is actually green. Does it look blue to you guys? It looks very blue. I don't own a blue one, I own green. When I was, I may have to go get Dyson because using this vacuum just gets way too complicated, especially one handed. I'm just glad I emptied it before I streamed because that would have been a pain. After this rug, I have to go get the Phantom. There we go, I sucked up something. Yeah, I've about gotten the whole rug. This is just from doing the rug. Now we wrap it up and go grab the Phantom. Because the Phantom cleans those rugs and stuff. Oh, my little carrying handle. This has a better cord than the Hoover. The Hoover's cord is super small and it bugs me. Put it near my mom's crutches because my dad's on crutches and my mom's on crutches. Go into here. I vacuumed this off camera because it's my parents' room. I'm now about to do videos in it. I got in trouble for that. Alright guys, now let's get out the Phantom. I actually have to go text some oops, somebody who's blowing up my phone right now. So, pick a vacuum. What vacuum do you guys like the most? That changing eh, colors my computer. Okay, so let's just flip it around. Hi guys. Sorry about this, I do have to message this person I am not blowing up your phone no not you different person see you're just texting me I can live with that sorry the person who's messaging me isn't text messaging me they're doing it via uh, an app they're doing it over Snapchat. So when I get a message, it covers my screen, and I I can't get rid of it until I swipe up. I gotta look for the cord holder for the Phantom. Cause I have the cord clippy thing, but I cannot find it. I took it off, so it's a pain. Sh which one of these should I use? I can't use the Kirby or the Hoover. Do you wanna see this Kenmore or my Phantom? 
I like this skin more. I, I love this skin more. I assume, though, you guys want to see the Phantom, because everybody wants to see the Phantom. I never figured out why. I guess it's just because it's a good vacuum, but... So, you want to see the canister empty? No. But I don't care, so... You want to see the Kenmore Destiny versus the Kenmore Canister? Is that correct? I don't have paper shreds. My dad's using it as a garbage can. But I can always shred up paper. I have paper. Yes, okay. You guys, would you like me to do that on live or live stream? Cause I'll do that on live stream. Because my live streams get posted to YouTube. So let's go. Some paper. I don't usually do paper though. I usually do something like coffee grounds. Because paper clogs that can more and when I'm just tearing it up it's not fair to the wait a minute I think I found a dirty bag but yeah this is a full bag uh type one four and seven but I think it will fit this and if it fits my new Hoover then I'm golden and it does so my new Hoover now has a, oh wait, I think it's too big. Yeah, it's puffed up because I used to own a Bissell. And because I owned a Bissell, it, uh, I owned a Bissell bag, so it got used a lot. Paper. If you want, I can go empty the shredder and shred this paper. Just go make sure the shredder's plugged in. My dad hasn't used a shredder, so he used it as a garbage can. So it's got stuff like Gatorade bottles and crap in it. Right there. Hey. Oh wait, I missed your comment, sorry. I'm in the middle of emptying the shredder.
Alright, I'm coming back, I'm coming back. Sorry. Shredder. Um, where'd the paper I put my paper? Not a lot of paper. Enough. It's not a lot. CD player. Okay. So guys, I got the paper. Sorry. That's all I really shredded. Tear it up. Make it rain. I'm fin I'm gonna finish vacuuming. I don't think we need a lot. Skylar! You're barking at nothing. Quit it. Skylar! There. So, I have to do it. I do have to get the other Kenmore though. I find it easier to do my house with the canister though, so I may finish the house with the canister. Hi, the Vac Mat. Wait, Vac Master? He's in here? Ouch. Stupid. Big Kurt, or canister. vacuum weighs a ton. Alright, this uh, canister pulls a lot more power than the Phantom. We spin around in a circle. 
not the vac master, the vac mat is. Oh, okay. Someone commented something. Oh, stupid phone. You're in the right angle. All right, now we go and plug this thing in. It may kick on. I was messing with the switch earlier. Nope. The one thing I don't like about this is it's got no foot power. This is the only way to turn it on. It's a loud canister. So, this one, just to be fair, low, and that one's low, so let's do this. I don't think it actually sucked anything up. I think it all got wrapped around the brush roll. Yep. Let's see if it... You can see strands because I do use that. That kind of scares me though, that the brush roll is just clogging. I tried to go at the same speed. It only, okay. So it only has one stuck in it. It actually sucks stuff up. Which I'm kind of shocked about. Let's try the camel one more time. Just see if we got... We did. I'm going to give it a shot. One more. Moment of truth, it's pretty clogged up in that. And don't tell me who who vacuums last wins. There was paper on the ground. I wasn't going off of dirt. I need to get a Mila test. Since my Mila broke, I haven't gotten it fixed yet. AKA my brush roll. And now I'm gonna go finish the house. So, the Destiny I don't use very often. I try not to use it. I got bit by a mosquito in my home. Freaking Florida. <sighs> so I'm just gonna, I'm not actually gonna wrap the cord up to the Phantom, not right now, because I'm probably gonna use it later. I'm picky about my vacuum cleaners. 
Unless it's a Kirby. I'm not picky if it's Kirby, but if it's like a Bissell or a Dyson or a Shark, I'm picky. It's gotta be a certain model Shark or else I won't own it. I've owned a Navigator. Oh, I dropped you guys, sorry. I've owned a Navigator, didn't love it. I actually hated it quite a bit. Now, I do not use the tile tool, but my Kenmore does have a tile tool. It's an older one, so this is actually a This is a filter, not a, uh... Okay, it's a foam filter. There we go. It's not a turbo tool, it's a foam filter, see? It doesn't get very dirty, but we'll use it to... Ouch, scratch my bug bite, because I'm weird. And then you just slide in. I don't know what kind of Kenmore it is. It's just a Kenmore, I think, PowerMate. It's older, but yeah. Got a much longer cord. So it's like a One thing I hate about canisters is they always get caught on their stupid cords. have to change the bag on these. Okay. No, 
my bed's good. It's dirty in there. You need something in there to clean it out. It's like caked in dust. I haven't owned this thing since new. I got it used. I think I think it was good while I got it home. Cyclone inside. I sucked up a like a retard. I sucked up a baby wipe, and it got wet, and it got dirty. So I had to disinfect it. So I'm just gonna grab one of my spares. I have multiple vacuums for multiple jobs. I do not use anything expensive outside. I only use the cheapest of cheap, which that was completely clean before I uh, started using this thing. Phone, phone. There we go, sorry guys. My phone keeps freaking out. It's not the right fit, you're gonna fit. This one has a weird pink cyclone that goes in it. 
and it doesn't fit any of my other vessels. See how loose that is? Yeah, that's locked into place. You see how loose that is? That's why this thing doesn't get good air flow. I mean, this motor sucks in nothing but dust. But it works. Great for cleaning outside. I use it in my room occasionally, but it does really good for vacuuming the patio. Lock that in place. over the cord. This is an older Bissell, as you see. It's not the newer ones. It's got one of the longer cords, shockingly. I do like rewind vacuums, though. And now, get it out of the way. Stop sitting on the cord. Cord rewinds iffy. Oh Alright. Ready to watch the patio? Good. I only vacuum the rug, we sweep the concrete just because like, we tear up vacuums, brush holes. That sounds horrible. Dead motor sound, like just listen to that. Does that sound good? It doesn't sound normal. Then again, though, I don't care, it's a bissel. stupidly short cord and I think I stepped on something. I did. I'll get that spinner out later. Right now I'm live streaming. I don't, I don't, it's hot. Oh my god. That, that's a hot motor. I think it's going out. I think it's going down for the count. It's spitting out dust which it wasn't before, but now it is. I mean, just listen to that. Does it even have good suction?
daily driver on it. It's just going to just going to so crap on it. That motor is squealing. Made to be a theater, so I use the Santa in here mostly, cause it uh is what they use at movie theaters. But the movie theater where I live, they use that. sounding. Okay, now it stinks. Good thing I have a second one. <laughs> That's right. Your boy got two of them. I am going to switch the hose and handle because I like that one's hose and handle a lot more. This one's got a bigger handle and it's easier to hold. But I don't trust what that sound was because it kind of sounded like a dying alien. I don't know if the phone picked that up, but it was literally it. That's... The, no, 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 no. I'm talking about the screech it just made that. Did you hear that? When I pushed it forward, it did that, like, squeal. Like, I have no clue what that squeal was. I, I knew it didn't sound right when I first turned it on, but let's just... That. No. This sounds completely different. This one I knew had a going motor though, in the first place, but like, listen, that's not how it sounded when I first vacuumed the outside. That one. That kind of start, that kind of stinks now. This one sounds different. By a lot. This one stinks bad, but. These were used after the hurricane to suck up water. That's my assumption, because when I got them, they were full of water. This one works nice, though. This one, this one's been on its last leg for a while. So I think I'm going to take this one out to the trash. It's an older model, yeah. But judging from the sound it just made, and the smell. I trust this one more now. So let's let's go plug this thing in and see if you hear a sound difference. Because they're the same model. You ready? Here goes this one. Listen to this. Now listen to this. Their rundown sounds the same, but they don't sound the exact same, see? When they're when that one's fully running, it's quieter. 
Okay, I hear it. Yeah. Like, when I run this thing, it's got that low pitch whine. When I run this, it doesn't have that. This one doesn't get hot as fast. This one gets boiling within 10 minutes. But I mean, you can tell there's a good year difference. Like there's, this one has where the headlight should go. So I mean, it's old. This one's the newer model. You know what I mean? Do you think I should take that one out to the garbage? Cause I kind of don't trust it now. It sounded like this one, but I don't know. It sounded weird. This one though had an iffy motor to start with. Sell it, Ella. I don't, I don't feel comfortable. I don't sell broken vacuums. So I'm gonna wrap it up and toss it. I mean, we've got, we paid nine bucks for it. It works. It got its use. Years ago, someone used it and we used it. So it got its use out of me. I use, I've used it a lot in the past while that I've had it. But like, should the tags and stuff be that? Because you see how that pistol looks red, like bright red. This one, it's so like faded that you can barely see the pistol. All right, let's go. I'm gonna go toss it, so. Like there's a sound, ow, that's a hot cord. It sounds horrible. And I've already had to service this one, so. Let's go, people. Do, do, do. Do, do, do. What was that, dog? You tried to sit on the vacuum? No, Bella. Huh? Is it going? Oh yeah. Okay. You know we have two of the same one. This one, it's it's whining. Can I cut the cord? Yeah, you can cut the cord. Can I have your clippers, Mom? Yeah. Or not? Hey, no, no, just two of them. They're they're loose. They'll break. I've already got it wedged. Put my hand carefully. All right. I'm gonna cut the cord. It's dead. Hey, Andy, on your way back, can you grab me a tea or a Gatorade, please? All right. Removed off. Cords cut. I don't keep them for, or I mean, I don't sell them or scrap them. I keep them for vacuums that need a cord. This one has an extra long cable though, and that's what I like. But I'm nice, I leave. Uh, do I want to keep the handle and stuff? Nah. My orcs garbage, that got tossed. Grab the cable and put the cable in my box. Box full of cables. You heard that though, right? You heard you heard the sound difference. They sounded normal a month ago. This is the vacuum graveyard. The oryx right there because it's uh, arcing. And I ain't dealing with an arcing motor. Grab my stupid Gatorade. Or tea you want. You guys are now in my fridge. Ouch. Booker. Draw the cord on. Open the car. What? Well, he came in. 
came in here, right? Huh? Dad came in here, right? What was the point of coming in here and me grabbing you a drink? I have my hands full. Well, there. Thank you. I'm gonna finish vacuuming with the vacuum nozzle because I don't expect to explode. Uh, it was the vacuum was doing fine, and I start back in the movie room, and then it just started squealing. Like it sounded horrible on the patio, and it, it was working fine in here, and then it just started adding over squealing. I'd already rebuilt the motor once, not doing that twice. <laughs> Take the brush roll out of it, because that's what's loud on this. Probably should have taken parts off before I threw it away. That would have helped. And then it'll get turned to nothing, but probably housing, and I'll keep the motor and scrap it. Brush roll, I mean. I just need a brush roll. Ain't that hard to get. Drop, take the brush roll out, and put it in the other. This one has a genuine Bissell belt in it, too, so. I'll take. I knew the motor went. Screwdriver? Screwdriver? My screwdriver? No, the yellow screwdriver. Oh, that one is in the bag in the garage. That's mom's screwdriver. With the interchangeable bits? Yep. Mom, isn't that yours? Didn't you get that from a... Uh... We're using it outside, bud. Oh, okay. We'll be using it again as soon as this is ready to go back on and get painted. You're painting that today? Uh -huh. Ah. Sorry, I painted those main lights. Cool. My goal is to have it lit up tonight. You know where the drill is? Why? I'm using a tiny screwdriver on long screws. No, you don't need the drill. Okay then. The drill batteries are dead. I have to get to my cool box so I can plug them in. I will care when Angel eats it. There we go. My good brush roll. Good belt. Come here, belt. Hot belt. Ouch. Angel, leave it. That's a really hot belt. Holy crap. Break it. Ouch. 
much. Okay. Come over here. Change. Oh, you can get that this way. Are you going out to get those today? Yeah. Okay. I'll put the cleaner salt on there. Get the loud brush roll Put the quiet one in. Okay, let me put this last screw in and then I'll bring it over. It's not small, but I have a hose. Okay. With a tool. That counts, doesn't it? Yep. I have that green one next to you. It's got a legit, like, nozzle. I just don't want to stand up, have all this glass go everywhere, and then mom hurt herself. So. I have 